Hello, my name is Cameron Penner, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add health bars and how to add score to your games. Uh, hopefully you guys learned a bunch of cool stuff today. Um, I'm just going to hop right into it. First, we're going to add an object, and this is going to be our controller. This is going to be the object that draws everything for on your screen to show how much health and how much score you have. So first we're going to add draw in the draw event. We're going to add draw score. And this is going to be at x room underscore width minus 2. And y is going to be 2. Now we're also going to draw the health bar. And that's going to be at 2, 2, uh, 96, and say 24 back color is going to be red the front color is going to be lime and here now all what we also need to do is we need to make it set the text and that's going to be the font sorry and that's going to be font score and make it align in this case to the right because we're drawing it on the right side of the screen right here so we want to kind of scroll off like that we also need to change the color of the text and that's going to be white that should draw all of our stats for us, all our score and everything. Now what we're also going to do is for the object guy, we're going to add an event collision with bad. We're going to go to control. We're going to here, go to score. Set the health uh, relative to negative one. This is I wouldn't normally do it like this. I'm gonna you know actually I'm gonna do negative ten. And then we're going to, for the bad guy, we're going to duplicate this collision with the guy. We're going to not destroy the other object. So it'll destroy itself and it'll create the die. And what'll, what'll happen here is when, the, when he collides with the good guy, the good guy will also set the health relative to negative 10. And that should, that should work here. And for the bad guy, also when he collides with the laser, we're going to go to score. We're going to set the score relative to 1. Actually, you know what? Just set it relative to 100. Because it's always a lot more fun getting more points than less points. So now, watch this. This should work. Now when you shoot your guy, it adds score. And also, you, you can actually see the score up here. Even though it's not being drawn out here because we forgot a vital step to the game process we never put the controller in the room that's a very important part of your game is putting objects in your rooms if you ever forget that people really won't like playing your games because all it'll be is a big gray screen and no one ever likes those so here watch this there we go that looks good I shoot guys you can see your health your score go up here and when you run into guys you can watch your health go down over here now normally when people jump on top of bad guys it kills them in this case it doesn't and I'm not going to show you how to do that in this tutorial maybe in a later one eventually um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the object guy and an event uh, the step event, I think it already exists. Here it is. We're going to go to score. If health is not larger than zero, so pretty much once the guy is out of health, then it'll run this event. It will destroy self and create the object. We actually want a guy die. So we're going to just duplicate this. we're going to change the sprite to good die and what I did is I just duplicated the bad guy dying I just went to images and I colorized it red that worked really good for me so create the object guy die relative now you only come into one problem with this is actually I'm gonna just end this bracket here you can only come into one problem with this is when you jump on top of a guy if your health is too small 
then there'll just be feet floating in the middle of the air and I'll just quickly show you how that looks and then eventually I'll show you how to fix that watch this and two three four five six seven eight nine okay now watch this when I jump on top of this guy there see my feet are just floating there what we want to do is for when your good guy dies we're gonna add an, an event create we're gonna set the gravity actually direction 270 gravity 1 we'll make the gravity really high and we will add an event collision with wall move to contact at direction direction maximum speed again solid objects there we're going to set the gravity to zero direction 270 you can actually leave that at zero since gravity is not doing anything and then we'll set the vertical speed to zero and this will add a nice nice little legs falling instead of here just just watch Oh yeah, did you like that? It kind of fell there. I don't know if you could see that. The screen recorder I use is a little bit choppy sometimes. But um, anyways, yeah, that's a nice way of making your guy fall to the ground when he dies, just in case he's in the air. And uh, well, I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And uh, if you have any ideas for tu for tutorials that you need made, I can. I'd say I'm pretty advanced. I've been making games for about four or five years now. And so far all the tutorials I've made are super simple because I'm trying to get people that are new at game making, I'm trying to get them kind of caught up and then I'm going to slowly build and eventually I'll just be firing out tutorials on how to add some crazy, crazy code. I'm going to make some scripts and it's going to be like if x is greater than room underscore width then we're going to set x relative to negative room underscore width plus wait actually minus um, image underscore width times 2 and pretty much what that does is it takes if your guy is too far to the right he'll actually just warp him off to the left side of the screen and it's kind of like a funky screen wrap, except this is a horrible way of coding it. So uh, that's why I'm not doing tutorials like that quite yet. But I hope you stay and keep watching my tutorials and keep learning new things. And eventually I'm going to toss some of this crazy code in there and start building and, and making more complex tutorials. And I hope you guys have a great day and a great summer. And I know it might be winter actually right now. But for me, it's summer, and I'm super excited because school's out. So, yeah, hope you guys, hope you guys really just make some games. I'll see you next time.